What's going on guys, Ryan with Daily Patrol back with another video. Today, the long-awaited in-art Joker, deluxe edition, rooted hair, Heath Ledger, ridiculously sized box. Let's check it out. As our guys, we're back. Hope you guys are excited for this one. I have been waiting on this one for a good minute. A good minute, just like some of you, actually most of you. Uh, I got this one in from Pop Collectibles. If you're curious, we want to get one of these. They might have one left. I don't even know, but there's a link down below. That's where I got mine. Uh, we have the very first one six scale offering from NR, otherwise known as Queen Studios. And as our guys, we're back. Hope you guys are excited for this one. I have been waiting on this one for a good minute. A good minute, just like some of you, actually most of you. Uh, I got this one in from Pop Collectibles. If you're curious, we want to get one of these. They might have one left. I don't even know, but there's a link down below. That's where I got mine. Uh, we have the very first one six scale offering from NR, otherwise known as Queen Studios. And they started off with a figure that's been released many, many times by Hot Toys. And they said, hey, we can do better. And I'm here to find out, can they do, did they do better? Can there be a more improvement past whatever they've given us here in this offering? And th the biggest question is, is this worth 1200 bucks? Like that's, that's what we want to know. This set was flipping expensive. We've got two figures. We got rooted hair on both. We got movable eyes. We got die cast parts and diorama pieces and, and, a, and, and a box that is just, I, I don't know who designed this box, but uh, like this, they should have went back to the drawing board. It's crazy. Um, the shipping on it, it's just insane. But we don't collect boxes here. We collect figures, and we're going to see what it's all about. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. Check it out. For those who are getting this, and I believe the presentation should be the same, to, regardless if you've got the rooted hair or the sculpted hair. Um, this says something. Uh, I, I don't know what that says. So... Uh, you can translate it if you like. I don't know what that says. Uh, we've got, what else we got? We got a nice silver envelope. Oh, we got a nice little ticket stub. That's kind of cool. Dark Knight, the Joker. Release date, 3-21-22. Nice little foil effect going on there. And on the back, it says the Dark Knight, the Joker. Nice. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be using that, but that's a nice little touch. We've got another envelope here. Hopefully there's some instructions. There's instructions right there. What in the world is this? This is, let's see what this says. I don't know what that says there, but I do know what it says here. Thank you for supporting in art by ordering this one six scale collectible figure. Your new figure and accessories have been created to help relive and recreate the wonderful moments from some of your favorite and most beloved movies. Like you and many other collectors, in art takes incredible inspiration from these characters and movies. This is why we are in the endless pursuit of perfection. To achieve our almost impossible goal, the NR team approaches every project with love and passion to create a better collecting experience with your help, support, and feedback. We hope we can make more characters that you love from iconic cinematic and pop culture moments. We hope you and your friends and the collecting community can join us on this journey and share with us your suggestions to help us make more remarkable six scale Figures. Scale down the world with us and let's create the next generation. One six collectible together. All the best in art. Okay, there you go. Nice little litter. Nice touch. When's the last time Hot Toys or any other manufacturer said something like that? I, I can't think of one. Uh, we've got instructions. No doubt we will need those. Ooh, nice instructions too. Colored instructions in multiple languages. Range of motion. Packing instructions. I like that. I dig that. I like that a lot. All right. Let's go ahead and open this thing up for the ASMR people. Actually, that's kind of rough, honestly, but for those who like that kind of thing. Here we go. We got Velcro straps. I am a big fan of these, uh, honestly, because uh, I got them with uh, XM Studios does these and Prime One and di different statue companies do them. It's a nice touch. Obviously, Queen Studios does them. Let's open this thing up. We have a lot of parts here. Holy cow. All right, so we got a lot of stuff going on here. Everything is packaged beautifully. I expect nothing but perfection out of this because the price points, again, this is $1,000 figure set, uh, actually north of that. And uh, I expect none, uh, nothing less than perfection. I guess the first thing we want to look at is 
these two Futurama domes we got going on right here. Let's check these guys out. They were nice enough to package them in, like I said, these Futurama domes on the bottom. It says in art, so that's nice. And I think this little guy. Let's go. All right. So, all right. So this is kind of interesting. This may happen to you. I'm not sure how this is going to play out. Um, they've got this like styrofoam cylinder right here. And I suppose it's to keep the head from bouncing around. Uh, but you can see it is absolutely put an indentation into the hair. So this is rooted hair. I hope that's not going to be too much of a pain in the butt to fix. Unless, uh, I guess we'll find out soon enough, right? Let's go ahead and get this guy out of here. Come on. I should just pop out the... There we go. Uh, yeah, so that's actually like, I guess, glued or taped on there, however that is. And uh, here's our first in art head sculpt. Good gracious, that's beautiful. Absolute masterpiece. The paint application is awesome. It's not overdone. I have reviewed and seen and held the previous versions of this from Hot Toys. This is beyond that. Absolutely beyond that. We're going to get two of these head sculpts. And I love how the, uh, there's blonde and brown on the top. I know the Hot Toys one was pretty much all green. And there's even, I don't see how well this would be going in there. There's actually white paint from the face molded into the hairline. That's if I mean if you're going for hyper real, that's hyper real. That's crazy. So we do have movable eyes. We'll look at that. Figure out that. I imagine it has something to do with this. But this is what I was talking about. It is that a little packing thing is put an indentation into the hair. I doubt I'm the only one that's going to have that situation. Um, and it feels like they've sprayed this with hairspray. I've seen some videos they've talked about rooted hair. Uh, so I imagine that's what it is. Um, it's movable, as you can see, but it is also stiff. Um, and I'm glad it's styled, but I'm curious to see how that's going to play out. Hmm. I don't know just yet. But first impressions, that's flipping amazing. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's quite good. Let's put him to the side. Let's check out this other one real quick. Uh, I'll say real quick, this is going to be a very long video. So if you're here, you already know that. Let's go ahead and get this one out. Does this one have the same? This one does does not appear to have the same problem. Okay, there you go. Yeah, that one. This one doesn't appear. So this is the grinning, slightly grinning one that's going to be for the jail scene. And nicely done. Uh, those eyes need a little bit of tweaking. Uh, I can see that they're going to need a little adjustment. But again, paint application is beautiful. Um, yeah, nothing crazy here. You see an indentation here from that styrofoam piece, but certainly not as bad as the, the previous version. All right. That head sculpt. Whew. I will take a look at these on the figures soon enough, but um, nice packaging. I like that very much. Let's get that off to the side. We've got a pile of stuff to look at. Where do we even begin? Uh, I guess we could take a look at the bodies and then we'll kind of get into the hands and underneath there should be the diorama pieces, which should be underneath. This is a heavy box and this is a heavy body. Like this is substantial. Wow. All right. All right. All right. So here's the, uh, the suited up jailhouse version. That's a, That's got some weight to it. Uh, interesting. Uh, you see his chain is sticking to his magnetic arm here. Yeah, that's got some nice weight to it. The tailoring is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We'll take a closer look at this in a little bit, but that is absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. There's your magnetic head function. It already has one set of the uh, almost clapping hands on there, the seamless hands. Um, nice paint application there. The suit, the tailoring. Look at these shoes. Oh, man. Uh, we're going to take a closer look at this a little bit. Put you right there. Let's check out this other body. And I'm not even kidding. These, these actually have substantial weight. This one's even more because I imagine it's the one, yeah, it's the one with the jacket on. Um, substantial weight substantial weight um, versus what you would normally see, like a suited figure from another manufacturer. Um, nicely, nicely done. So we've got the purple gloves. We've got this purple jacket, which appears to be the correct shade of purple, I think. Uh, there's nice weathering going on here. We'll, again, we'll take a closer look in a second. We got the orange 
shine on the interior. We've got the shirt. We've got a tie. We've got a vest. We've got a jacket. We've got another jacket. We've got the pants. Uh, should be the same shoes. And we've got purple gloves. This is layer upon layer of beautifulness. Oh, this is where the grenades are going to go. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Um, this is where the grenades are going to go. Look at this. Check out that stitching. That's multiple. There's greens and purples and stitching. And I'm assuming this is screen accurate. I do not know. But you've got like a dark brown strap right here. You got a light brown strap and you got three black straps. That's attention to detail that honestly didn't need to be there, but it is. That's pretty cool. I like that very much. Look at this. Look at that jacket. The inner jacket right here. Pant. Very similar to that pant. The green vest. Nice, 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 nice. Can't wait. I mean, look at this weathering along the seams on the lapel here. Even the, the orange on the cuff. Whew. It's looking pretty good so far. I must be honest with you guys. It's looking pretty good so far. As far as, you know, what we're trying to determine is, is in art a player in this game, uh, just based on that, I'd say yes. The question is, is it, you know, value for dollars? That, that's kind of what we're kind of trying to figure out here. Uh, so we got one base right here. Should be a magnetic base. Yeah, look at that. Mm. Nice little Batman logo there. And then on the other side, we've got the Dark Knight Joker uh, bottom. There, there. It would, I would have really like these to be numbered. I don't know how many of these sets they made with the rude hair, but I would love to see these numbered. I know they number statues. Uh, I would really prefer, since for you're paying for a premium, I would love, I guess I'll only put that back in there. I'd love to, you know, know what number you had. That would, that would be cool. Uh, this must be a bench. That's my guess here. How do I get this out? Come on. So it gotta be a bench. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's got some weight to it. That's going to be die cast. Yeah. Nice die cast bench. I mean, it's got the staining, weathering going on all the way across. Nice uh, dry brushing going on. There's a little damage and stippling going on. You can see, let's see if I can focus her in. Yeah. You see all this texture and stuff they've got going down the sides, even underneath. It's textured underneath. Can you see that? They textured the bottom of the flipping thing. They did not have to do that. That is crazy cool. Mm, I like that. All right. So we got a bench. What else have we got in here? We've got grenades, which we'll take a look at in just a second. Uh, I'm trying to see what other larger pieces we got we can deal with. Oh, we've got a weapon. Nice. Let's get into this. A die cast weapon. That is awesome. Got a folding stock on a hinge. I like that very much. Nice stippling uh, here on the grip. Is this removable? Ooh, it is. Magazine's removable. I like that. Anytime you can add realism to it. Uh, you got a nice little ported barrel. I can't really see it. You got a nice ported barrel right there. Wow. Oh, they got a spring in the action. I love that. I like that very much. That is cool. What else have we got here? We Oh, we got another. We got his Glock. Yeah. Man. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but it might be a minute. So bear with me. Nice Glock. An official. Uh, this is straight up. This is just straight up cool. So they, th this has got to be officially licensed. Uh, I mean, a diecast magazine, that's kind of crazy. Diecast Glock. Um, it literally just says it has the Glock logo. Oh, this is going to show up. It has Glock logo on here. It's Glock 17 with an extended mag. Uh, I mean, they went as long as to put the Austria on there because that's where you know, Glock's made. Uh, nine mil. Slide move. Oh, the slide. Yes, yes, yes. You can rack the slide. On a spring. That's freaking beautiful. Hmm. Okay. So far, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good so far. Where are we going to next? Let's see what the let's see what's going on here. 
Uh, we have some car playing cards. Uh, I'm not going to take all these out right this second. We'll we'll get to that. I, probably, I don't want to lose them. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, handcuffs. We'll take it. We'll look closer. Look at those in a second. Uh, I'm trying to get some of the larger items so I don't lose it. This is going to be his knife. It's got to be right. Got to be the knife. It is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that's plastic. That's the first plastic piece we've got in here. Is the blade die cast? No, that's plastic. But it does retract. Cool, 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 cool. All right. There's so much stuff here. Uh, let's look at... Oh, this is... This, this is the future. And we've seen other manufacturers do this. But this is the future of 1-6 scale figures. Right here. Seamless forearms this this is the future guys no joke uh we've seen this with third party figures uh saw it with uh vts toys i believe with the um kenshin figure um this this is the future right here switch out pieces right here well i'm curious to see how strong these magnets are going to be but these switch out forearms here that are pre-posed i guess if you will yeah beautiful absolutely beautiful so you got a uh, we got a right, that's a right, look at the paint application and the bruising and damage and everything got going on there. That's beautiful. Uh, let's look at this other one. Should I, oh, this one's got even more. Wow. All right. This one's got even more. Ooh. Here's the left. Hmm. I mean, the texturing on the skin is beautiful as well. You see like the veins uh, going down here to the side. There is a little bit of a seam, you know, right here. Barely noticeable, but, you know, it's there. You can see the seam. But the paint application there is next level good. So I'll dig that one. And uh, let's see what else we got here. We're here dealing with hands. Let's see what else we got. So we got a right and a left version of that. We've got another gesturing hand. Again, magnets uh, for the forearm. I'll kind of zoom in here a little bit for you guys. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I like that very much. Uh, then we've got some switch out. So you you do have the option, and I'm this is going to kind of play in the uh, to the other hands here. Uh, you do have the option of just using wrist pegs, which you'll need for the gloved hands, I guess. Um, and this is a switch out. If I can get this out of here, um, so you can actually instead of using the you can use these guys, right? Uh, or you can use a right and left version of this so you actually have some movement. Um, just a typical six, you know, six scale peg. This one just happens to be a magnet. Um, but you'll you'll have that joint, you can see, but you'll have more range of motion. So you might want that. So you get a right and left version of that. And then let's go ahead and get into these purple hands that come with our purple joker. Yeah, man, look at that. Hmm. Magnets right there for those wondering. Look at the silver buckle going on. So we got that version. Let's just open all these up. I got to do it anyways. Feel free to fast forward to the posing section if you care to. There's a nice fist right there. There's a left fist. Let's see what we got here. We've got a holding hand, I'm gonna say a dagger, you know, his knife maybe, or even one of the playing cards. So we got a left hand there. Let's see what we got here. We're experiencing this for the first time together. So far, pretty happy with it, honestly. So far, pretty happy. So we have a right, uh, holding hand. This is obviously, this could be the dagger hand as well. You can use that. Depends on whatever other accessories we got in here to hold. It definitely slows down the unboxing experience having all these wrappers, but I'm not minding it. I'm just kind of savoring it, enjoying it for the moment. Uh, a left hand. 
I'm not 100% sure what this one's for. It's got to be for... I don't know. I'm not sure. 100% sure that's... I mean, the dagger, maybe? I, I don't freaking know. There's instructions, thankfully. But I don't know the answer to that one. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, nice little gesturing hand. Use the force. Yeah, paint applications on these are quite beautiful. So we've got... Display base, we've got grenades, which are all on a string. I really don't want to get those tangled up, uh, but they are different molds, so that's kind of nice. Uh, we've got gloves, we've got forearms that are seamless, we've got bodies, we've got heads, we've got uh, cash. It's going to be a little, little layers of cash. We'll look at these in just a little bit. Uh, but I kind of want to check out the, oh, the handcuffs are down here. I kind of want to check out the diorama base underneath, so let's go ahead and do that. Get that out of here, and uh, we have a base. Let's start with this. And uh, see what this is all about, you know what I mean? Let's go. So this is supposed to be made out of wood. That's what they advertise. Got the Dark Knight Joker here in nice purple. And yes, you can see the wood grain right in there. It is 100% made out of wood. Um, this is a plastic material, resin of some kind of plastic, and then this is a wood inlay. Uh, so nice detail here, nice paint application, washes, texturing all the way throughout. And uh, that's where our backdrop's gonna be. And so you can display it either way, depending on if he's behind bars or in front of the bars. So you've got the, the bat logo there, or you can have it behind bars this way. Well, I don't know what we're gonna do with that. Well, let's check this out. Okay. Oh boy, that's heavy. Wow, that is that is a heck of a diorama piece. That's no joke. Uh, that's 100% solid die cast, painted beautifully, and going to be an absolute display showstopper right there. Got these uh, smaller bars going in on the back side or the front side, depending on however you're looking at it. Uh, smaller bars here. You got angle iron here or steel. You got a hinge, uh, which doesn't actually open uh, but there's that uh and nice weathering going on throughout all the way down i mean they downscaled this beautifully absolutely beautifully um no way this fits in a detoff like zero percent chance of that unless you adjusted your shelf height uh, i just don't see it so let's go ahead and we'll put this guy right here there's only one way it goes in so you can't really mess that up i guess all right Oh, I mean, I guess you, you could try to mess it up. Whew. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Mm. All right. Let me get some of the stuff out of here. Put a couple figures together. Let's look at range of motion. Let's look at what the potential problems might be. We'll do some posing. And we'll determine, is the juice worth the squeeze? All right, let's take a look at these head sculpts real quick, if we can. And uh, I wanted to, uh, if we get the focus here. I'm using a macro lens, so just bear with me here. I get this focus. There we go. Um, I want to take a look at this uh, in, in this lighting, and then obviously it's going to look a lot better with my other lighting. I'm not a big fan of flat lighting and well, white backgrounds in general, to be quite honest with you, but um, for realism. But it does show, help show off uh, what we've got going on here without distraction, so we'll, we'll kind of get into that. But I want you to see the paint application in the hair uh, right here, and then you can see the difference in the brown. This is like blonde right? There's blonde and then there's uh, green and everything going on here. And it looks quite, I mean, it looks quite good. It really does. I love that detail. So I was trying to figure out how the heck do you adjust the eyes? And uh, because I've got to fix this situation anyways, the instructions say that there's your magnet. The instructions say that under here, there is a, a back panel that we're supposed to pop out. So let's see if we can, if I can do this. Looks like it comes out, and I'm a, I'm a little daunted because I, you know, this is a very expensive figure. I don't really want to mess up the hair. Uh, how do I do this? I'm going to do this on camera. So if I mess it up, I mess it up. Whatever. Um, so there's this plate right there, and then there's like a. If I can do this. It's like a joystick situation going on in there. Can I see that in there? I was having a hard time focusing. 
There it goes. Uh, there's a joystick situation going on in there. And then there's this is looks like it's just two two magnets. Um, so yeah, there's there's that. Um, so you know, I it's, it's not something I'm gonna mess with. I, I just I don't know. I, I guess I would feel better if I got the sculpted hair version if I was going to mess with all the hair. But look, you can have the ability, the possibility, the option to get hair like caught up in that that uh, mold line. And I don't think you want to do that. So the second head sculpt we've got here, this is the gel, gel cell. Yeah, gel cell version. I guess if you would. Uh, just as glorious. Absolutely fantastic. Mine doesn't have the dent in the back like the previous, the, the other version of it. Uh, same thing here. As a, uh, as a joint back there, you can pop that out. You can do the little joystick thing and adjust the head sculpt. Um, but just to give you guys an up close and personal look at this guy, it's next level cool. Like we'll get even closer. See how close we can get. How clo there we go. How close can we get? I mean, just, just all kinds of good, right? I mean, look at that paint application. You see what I'm talking about with the paint going into the hair? Love that, because if you were painting your face, you would get mess it up and get it in there, I think. I'm not the joker, but that's just my thought process behind it. Yeah, pretty cool. Gonna look even better with some good lighting. And away we go. Joker here posed up. Obviously, this is going to be the jail cell version of this with the awesome diorama backdrop. 100% love the backdrop. It's large. It will not fit in a detail unless you adjust the shelves. So don't you can try that. Uh, the real wood flooring is cool. Uh, you know, is it necessary? Yeah, probably not. The die cast background, I dig that. It's, it just gives the quality feel to it because, you know, heavier things feel like more quality. Thinking you die cast Iron Man, I don't know. Um, but definitely a cool set. Some headaches, though. Not not perfect. Some headaches. And, and again, this is going to be due to the nature of the tailoring for me. This is what it's going to come down to. But let's talk about it for just a second. Uh, head sculpt's beautiful. Um, I don't have him lit like beautifully so you can see the eyes right this second because uh, I don't think it's all that important um, for this pose. But uh, I do dig it quite a bit. Um, yeah, kind of dig that. Anyways, I want to go back down to, uh, if I can, I want to go to the hands. Let's go to the hands. Uh, so in order to change the hands in the forearm system, you've got to unhook the cufflinks, which are these tiny, 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 tiny little metal clips um, that you've got to unclip and then change out the forearms and then, um, you know, reattach them. You, you need tweezers to do this. Uh, it, it's a complete pain in the butt uh, to do without. Uh, in fact, here in this pose, because I know I'm going to be changing them again, I didn't even bother with that. Um, but just so you know, it's the instructions uh, show you in writing. They don't show you in photos on how to do that. It's not absolutely intuitive how to do that. So just take your time uh, with that if you uh, can. So uh, obviously the, uh, the the diorama piece is pretty awesome. He's got these awesome socks, the shoes. Uh, this base is not magnetic. The other base is, uh, but this one's not. So uh, yeah, there's there's that. Uh, and there's pros and cons to having a magnetic uh, diorama base, but uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, this thing is absolutely glorious. I'm a big fan of it. I'm just having fun with it. I don't even know where I'm going to display this thing yet. Yet I have no idea. I knew somebody would want to see the handcuffs on the figure. They're super easy. They're die cast. They open shut. Very simple. And uh, they look pretty good. It's probably not something I would use, but when you're getting this kind of figure, it might be something cool to have in display. Somehow, I don't know. Um, but I thought this was pretty cool. And it didn't, you know, switching out the forearms once you had the cuffs undone is fairly easy because it's just magnets. It's yeah, pretty simple. And here we go with the purple jacket Joker from Enart with the other head sculpt with his knife and with a Joker playing card, which there are a pile of them in the little packet they come in. They're all different. They're printed nicely. Uh, I, I don't, I'm not going to show all of them, but there's a lot of different variations of Joker cards in there. So after messing around with the previous body figure without the jacket and doing the jail sale scene, um, I, I wanted to spend some time with this one. And I got to say, I prefer this one. I think most people are going to prefer this one. I have some thoughts on that. I'll talk about that in just a little bit uh, as far as how Inart decided to uh, 
package these things together. Uh, the rooted hair for me is the way to go. I've seen photos um, of the sculpted hair. I saw a review of the sculpted hair. It's not for me. It's not for me. Um, not to say that if you got it, you're not going to be happy with it, whatever. But for me, uh, if I was going to drop this kind of coin on something, the rooted hair, I think, delivers where in the past rooted hair figures have not delivered. I think Inart absolutely nailed it um, on this. So uh, I'm, I'm happy I picked this version. Uh, this jacket looks amazing. Again, I think I mentioned it earlier, but the tailoring is beautiful. It, the layer and the downscaling of the, uh, of the materials is beautiful. There is one thing I do not like, though. It is this base. Not a fan of the magnetic base. Uh, n not in the least, not a fan of it. Um, I don't like that I'm limited in, if I want to use the base, I don't fight, like that I'm limited in where the feet can go. I just, um, I just don't, I don't like it. Um, let's see if I can get more down here for you guys. Uh, I, I just, I don't like that his feet have to be X amount of space apart. Uh, the magnets are super strong, which is good. I'm glad they're not weak magnets, but they're super strong. I just saw uh, something about it. It, it. Maybe it's the, I like posing the figures and I like, it's just, it's limiting. It's limiting. Uh, I think it is a nice aesthetically pleasing base in the fact that you don't have a, a waist grabber or a crotch grabber or, you know, something like that, stick it up to uh, detract from the, the figure. I, I, I like that. I think that's a good thought. The magnets are the problem. That's the problem. Um, for me. So, uh, you might think completely differently. You can let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, but I, uh, 100% do not like the magnets in the base. Uh, at least, yeah, I just, I don't now. And keep in mind that this is Joker is not a, a, a super dynamic character. He didn't go do a bunch of acrobatics. Um, so I think most people are going to have them in a pose that looks like this. So I, you know, I don't know. I'm back and forth on it. I don't like the magnets in the base. Currently, maybe I'll change my mind over time, but currently I don't like them. So I changed up the pose for this guy and added in the grenades in the jacket, which is most likely how I'm going to have mine displayed. And I bet a lot of you will as well. It's super easy to do, barely an inconvenience. Uh, there is a leather strap in each of the uh, for each of the uh, grenades here in the side pocket. We saw those a little bit earlier. The grenades are die cast, although I don't think they're filled with any particular explosive or shrapnel. I, I don't think they are. I don't think Inart went that far. Fairly sure. Uh, but they do look uh, pretty fantastic there against the orange inner lining on this jacket with the green and the gray jacket. And it just ugh, looks good. Uh, getting this particular hand on the left, on his left, to hold on to the jacket was a little bit of a chore. I was able to make it work. Um, but, you know, once it's there, I don't really think you got to mess with it too much. And then, of course, we've got this head sculpt. Uh, and I did uh, maneuver the eyes just a little bit. Uh, so I want to kind of talk about, about that for just a second. Maneuvering the eyes. You've got the pop off the back of the head, which is underneath the rooted hair. And uh, maneuver the eyes with a single joystick. And it's fine. And to, so far, I've maneuvered the eyes on both of the head sculpts a decent amount just to see what would happen. What, could I break them? You know, that kind of stuff. I have had none of the hair come out. None of it so far. So that's a good thing, I think. Uh, the head sculpts are on point. I mean, th there's no denying in art absolutely nailed this one out of the park. There's a, a few things I would change. One, I'd get rid of the magnets in the base. I think those are flipping annoying. Um, I just, there's that. Uh, the uh, I would have put the shirt collar on an elastic band, like that tie. I would have put that on an elastic band uh, so I could just stretch that out and put the, uh, the neck peg in there a little easier rather than having to go fiddle around with uh, tweezers and all that kind of mess. So I, I would have done that. Um, but those are just, oh, and, and the, um, the, the cuffs, I would have made those magnets. Um, I mean, yeah, the, the way they did it, I get why they did it that way and attention to detail, but for user interaction, uh, just not that great. Uh, but the, you know, little things, look at this thing, freaking beautiful. Look at this. You know, am I happy with this particular purchase? Yes, I believe I am. I, I'm very happy with it. Um, you know, and you guys know me. I'm a Star Wars guy. I collect mainly Star Wars stuff. But this was one I just couldn't pass up, and I'm glad I didn't. 
So uh, maybe you guys will be happy with your decision as well, but we'll, we'll find that out soon enough. You got to let me know in the comment section down below because I believe, um, you know, sometime soon somebody's going to have one of these. So the question is, after everything you've seen here and everything I've seen, am I okay with a almost $1,200 price tag plus shipping uh, for this set? And I got to say, maybe, maybe. You have to be a humongous Heath Ledger Joker fan to get this set, to pay the premium on this. Uh, is it worth the cost of the going above and beyond the, the sculpted hair? I think the I think so. I think that there's definite value in this. At least there was for me. Um, spoiler, I did pay for this. I didn't get it for free. I know there's people out there wondering, but I paid for this. And and it's um I, I went for the sculpt, I went for the, the rooted hair because I, if I was gonna go ahead and spend that kind of money, I figured what the hell. I do know this. I have looked at custom sculpts and rooted hair head sculpts in the past. And you could get a head sculpt painted and rooted, just the head sculpt, I've seen it, for the cost of this entire set. So you gotta put it into some perspectives there, right? You gotta say, well, what am I getting versus what am I paid? What's my ROI, that kind of stuff. And I will not deny the fact that it is expensive, especially in six scale collecting world. Uh, it is expensive. Uh, I, I think it was worth it uh, for me. I think it was worth it for me. There are things, as I mentioned in a video, that I would change. So my biggest gripe with this entire set has got to be this magnets in the base. I just I just don't like them. Uh, some of you might uh, might absolutely love them and not have the extra distractions of a, a crotch grabber, waist grabber, whatever you want to call it. Uh, for me, I don't like being confined to one specific area on the base, and the magnets are so strong. Which I, I guess if you're gonna have magnets, they should be strong. The magnets are so strong that literally. You would find, I, I would find mine, he would literally balance on the heels. Let me put it this way. It would literally balance. This is what I was talking about earlier in the video. You see that? It, it's the mag, the hand just falls out because of the weight of the gun. I like being die cast weapons, but there is a downside to that, as you just saw. Um, but I will literally have this guy, and I've messed with the ball joints on the feet and everything, but the magnets are so strong, it will literally stand up while while rocking because the feet aren't flat to the, the surface. And as much as I try, I mean, there are flat, but there's curvature in the in the sculpt of the shoe. Um, so there, there's a thing. Um, this is a bit of an annoyance, to be quite honest with you, because if that broke, that would, that would just be bad. Um, and I promise you, there's, it's just heavy. It's just a heavy piece. Um, and we'll try to put this back yeah, it just doesn't, uh, it's just heavy. So if I move over here, there. So, I mean, if it's standing there, it's not gonna fall, but as you saw, it did fall. Um, but this guy's sitting down, not a problem. The wood base, I love the diorama piece. I, I'm a big fan of that. Uh, the sculpt and the movable eyes, I think it's beautiful. The tailoring is on point. Um, there's just a couple little things that, for their very first figure, that I would look at improving on the next one. Uh, I'd get rid of the magnetic base. I would do something with uh, the the collar and having some kind of elastic in there, so I can have some you know some move or uh, wiggle room to put the head in. I think that would be nice. And um, other than that, pretty blown away by it. So in art, well done. Um, I look forward to the next one. I do. I will not be getting Pennywise. I'm not. I'm not getting Pennywise. So just spoiler on that. That ain't happening. Um, but uh, the Wonder Woman, which they haven't showed us yet, the Pattinson and Batman. Uh, I, I think the patents in Batman looks amazing. So we'll, they keep making improvements on that. We'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I want to hear from you guys. Did you pick this up? Did you get the sculpted one? Are you, did this video change your mind in any way? Are you more in, uh, excited about it? Are you less excited about it? Do you have buyer's remorse? Like what, what is it? Where are you feeling right now? And uh, we'll talk about it in the comment section down below. As always, like what you like, see you next time.